I want a mission to Uranus and Neptune as much as the next person, but it's not as simple as just yeeting a spacecraft out into the edge of the solar system because you'll just fly past all of the planets. If you actually want to stop and orbit the ice giants to study it, like Cassini did around Saturn or the Juno probe is doing around Jupiter right now, you've got to break to slow down somehow, and that's the hard part. To get a spacecraft out to the far edges of the solar system, you need to accelerate it to a huge speed, which means you need a lot of fuel, but then you're traveling faster, so you need more fuel to break, and then if you need more fuel, then your spacecraft is heavier, so you need more fuel to launch it, and then at some point, just the amount of fuel you need becomes just completely unfeasible. So instead, NASA and ESA are investigating something known as aero capture. Instead of fuel, a spacecraft dips into the planet's atmosphere, creating drag as all of those air molecules hit into it and slow it down. It would mean there'd be less fuel needed, meaning there's more room on board for scientific instruments, and it would make the mission cheaper, meaning it's more likely to get funded. So fingers crossed, because look, 